What up, world? Waxville in Seattle, Washington. You already know what it is. Welcome to What's in My Mailbox, the unboxing. We got a special one today. This one comes from the folks at Solar Records. Here's the pack. A special shout out to Manny and Ray. Thank you very much. Uh, we're going to get into the box in a second, but I just want to talk about this release, um, give folks a little background on it. So for those that don't know, uh, we're talking Solar Records, right? We're talking that that rare soul with a modern sound. That's actually what I would say is the slogan of, of Solar Records. And when it comes to this stuff, we're talking about premium soul music. Um, I'm a big fan of the label. I found out about Solar Records. I think it was... 2020, I remember scrolling on the timeline and I saw this snippet, maybe like 20 seconds, from this group called um, The Illusions. And I hadn't heard of Solo Records prior to that, but there was something about that 20 second snippet that seemed really special to me. And I remember going back and forth, do I go for it, do I not go for it? Talking to a lot of different people, because uh, I was still kind of new to the scene at that point, trying to find my, my feet. And what ended up happening was I went for the record. And the result is this record became, in my opinion, one of the biggest releases of 2020 on the soul scene. The Illusions' first 45 sold out, I want to say, within maybe like 48, 72 hours. And it went on to be, like I said, the biggest record of, of 2020, in my opinion. And if you don't know, it sold out, right? But you can go to Discogs and you will see this record selling for up to $200. Um, so that is the type of pedigree that comes out of Solar Records. From there, the next release was Naira. Uh, and I absolutely loved that double A-sider. Special shout out to Adrian Carmine. He played a hand on the production on that. Special shout out to Naira. Great 45. I think it really kind of followed in the same steps as the Illusions release in terms of the hype and the quality of sound that came out of it. The record I want to talk about today is, is super special to me for a couple reasons. One, the, the, the two main folks that, that played a heavy part on this, I am a big fan of. Uh, I found Adrian Carmine out through, again, scrolling on my timeline. The audio happened to be on. And uh, I was instantly a fan after hearing just a little snippet of his music. I reached out to him right away because I, I felt like I had struck gold just in terms of, yeah, I wasn't even looking for new music, but I found it and I thought it was gold. And I reached out. I was like, you know, wh where, where did you come from? This is great. I love your sound. I really look forward to, to knowing what's coming next from you. And um, I've been saying his name since January. I think Adrian Carmine is a major player on the scene. And I do think a lot of people know about him. However, for those that don't, I'm going to say it again. Adrian Carmine. You need to write his name down. You need to go follow him um, because I'm a big fan of, of the work he's doing and, and just a cheerleader. I'm really looking forward to his music. He came out with music in 2020. He had a self-titled EP I thought was fantastic. So I'm kind of chomping at the bit to hear new music from him. But the star of the show, the star of this release, one of my favorite female soul singers on the scene, the lovely and talented Miss Jackie Mendez. I was really excited for this release because we've been treated to a lot of music from Jackie this year, most notably on Noriega Records. But what I can tell you about this 45 is there's something special about it. From the very first time I saw the mock-up of the 45 to the album artwork, I said, this this is different. You know, this this might be the best version of Jackie that, that I've heard, that I've seen. And again, I'm, I'm, I'll call myself new to the scene, but there was something special about it when I saw the 45. I saw her post the way that she was kind of excited about this release. And um, I, I think this is going to be a real gem. I think this is a double A-sider. And, and the work on here is much bigger than I think we're used to for a 45. And I say that mainly because of the concept, the songs on there, and, and how Jackie's presence comes across. She's telling a story, painting a picture with words like I often say about, you know, Jackie's music. But this was a, a really big release for me and I was very hype about it. Um, when, when I think of solo records, one thing that stands out to me, and this is kind of the intel that, that I, I've learned through, you know, talking with, with your Mannies, with your Rays from Sola about how things work. Um, everyone's involved in the process, right? Creativity is something that, that lives with the musicians. And I think that might have contributed as to why we're seeing what I call the best version of Jackie. Why the sound truly fits that, that target that they were looking for. When I think about the color of the vinyl, when I think about the album artwork, I think of a 50s, 60s vibe, and, and they really nailed that. This is a very premium you know, production. 
and, and I'm always big on calling out, you know, the quality of the physical release because as fans, you know, we don't get to see and feel that when we're not able to go into a store. There might be limited ways to purchase it, but I can confirm that this is premium vinyl. Um, all the bezel, bells and whistles from the inner sleeve, you know, with the covering on that, which we'll kind of get to in a minute, um, really went above and beyond on this. So big fan of Jackie. I want to say that, you know, I think she's had an awesome journey as a musician. I love her most on the soul set. That's just kind of where my heart is. But I want you to, to you know, explore her existing work so that you can kind of see what I'm talking about in terms of her evolution, you know, as a musician. And, and most importantly, this record, I, again, I think this is the best version of Jackie that I've heard. I love this. Let's get to the unboxing. All right. So what do we got inside? All right. We got a box with a 45. Awesome. Some goodies. Nice premium t-shirts. Let me show you what we got here. There's the Solar Records label logo on the front. And this is just, this is too much. Look at this. I love artwork. It's all about the experience. Awesome shirt. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate that. Let's get to the meat and potatoes. Wow. Okay. Just as I expected. Jackie Mendez, Backburner 45. You know me, I love my album art, and they nailed it with this. I just love the, like, the photo shoot image right here, the colors in the background. Um, I love the, the, how there's the shadowing on the um, label display right there, and of course, back burner. We've got Sola 45 RPM and stereo here. A quick little bit of information, and again, you're not gonna know this because you can't read about it. It's something that, that I learned just through Intel. Um, I have a lot of respect for how they go about making this, and I tell you why. One thing that Sola is all about is keeping that true original sound. When we think of the records of the past, we think of, man, it's old, there's pops, there's clicks. Was that a mistake? Things like that that are, are, are included on this. And, and more importantly, think, taking things to that next level. So they won't just press records anywhere. They want to go somewhere where there's going to be that analog experience. So when we put that record on the turntable, we feel like it's authentic. It's intentional. And that's something that you're not going to know about, you know, just doing your, your Bing research about solo records. Let's take a look at the back real quick. Again, great cover art there. I love the details. This is awesome stuff. One thing that I'm going to say about Wax Villain is we want to give shine to everyone that's a part of a project. And, and if you've watched my unboxing before, I'm a big fan of calling out everybody that, that contributed. So, you know, from the top, Back Burner is written by Jackie. Fantastic track. I'm so excited for our fireside chat this evening because I just have a lot of questions for Jackie about this. Like I said, I think this is the best version of Jackie I've heard. Keyboard and organ, Anthony Medina. Um, we've got, let's see, Wally Caro on the guitar, and the guitar sounds great on this record. Uh, lead guitar, Zach Pike. Bass, Jeffrey Govin. And drums, Chris Borbun, who also designed the artwork. Okay? So those folks that I just talked about, that is Jackie's band, okay? And I think that, that there's great chemistry there, and that also contributed as to why this sounds so good. On our, I call it a double A-sider, so on, on side A2, um, this one, again, you know, uh, produced by Adrian Carmine. This is a cover from Barbara Mason. Girls have feelings just like the boys do. Jackie's on the vocals, backup vocals. This is where the, the, the gold is, right? So we've got Tatiana Sandate and Adriana Flores. We're talking about the Sinceres, we're talking about the Altons. Like I said, heavy when the players are involved and it means so much more when you're able to look at this and, and recognize that because that is what greatness is about to me. When, when As a collector, looking at all this intel, I can say, wow, this is the tip of the iceberg right here. Here's where all the work was, right? The blood, sweat, and tears. Um, recorded at All Welcome Studios and Sound Factory LA. So when we think of All Welcome, give a shout out, go follow. I love those guys. They were one of the first labels that I had kind of discovered. Um, they released a 45, I want to say early 2020, and I copped that. La, Las Razas, great 45. There's a second one that's coming out. I also got that. Go follow them. Big fan of Felipe's work. He played a, a major part on the, the boards with this. Um, Let's see here. Mixed and mastered, Adrian Carmine, big fan. Shout out to Adrian. Engineered by Felipe All Welcome Records and Todd, uh, I believe it's Falcone, Mar Falcone, uh, Sound Factory LA. 
and my MVP of the soul scene, Mr. Gabe Rowland. Gabe played a part on this. You've hear, heard me talk about this many times before. There are certain people that if I see their name on the label, I'm buying just because I know they played a part in it. So when I see Gabe's name, that's an automatic cop for me all day. Uh, Adrian, Jackie, same thing all day. Uh, I think I've covered everyone on the back. So special shout out to everybody that played a part in this. This is the full package, all the bells and whistles. Let's go ahead and take out the wax. So again, a nice sleeve. I, I like when it's covered here. I don't like when it's open and exposed, going the extra distance. <whistles> Folks, if you like colored variants, it doesn't get any better than this, all right? So this is like a translucent orange, but I also, maybe a little bit of peach in there, maybe a little bit of a electric orange. I'm colorblind, so I do the best that I can. I usually will name these, uh, you know, the color variants. I, I just think this is a electric orange right here, right? It's got that, that vintage 50s, 60s vibe. Here's the label so that you can take a look at that and see some artwork on there, right? Great details. Um, this feels nice in hand. I'm always big about talking about the physical product and, and what it's like. But I haven't seen a variant that, that looks like this. I've seen darker orange. I've seen brighter oranges. This is dope. Maybe I should call it something peachy. I don't know. Very dope variant. I can't say I have anything like this. Big, big, big deal. Um, when it comes to how you can go ahead and cop the record, so you're going to want to go to the account, say, of Solar Records, okay? I believe it's solarrecords at yahoo.com. The way that you buy this is through PayPal, friends and family, $30 for the vinyl, $5 for the shipping. I think I've given you just about all the steps there. I might have... Um, you know, been confused on the actual email address, but you can find that on Jackie's page. You can find it on Adrian's page, Sola's page, um, Harbor Soul as well. It's all listed there with the steps. They pressed 500. I know that they've sold well over 200 and it's still moving. So I would say act fast. This is a record of the year that you definitely want to have on your shelf. Um, it, it's telling Jackie's story and she's just been making a lot of waves in 2020. I think this is another chapter in the books for, for Adrian and great work. And the two of them combined on this record uh, is what makes this special. And, and especially as a fan, I love to see these kind of dream team matchups, if you will, uh, seeing some of my favorites collaborate, work together and, and put out something that's high quality like this, something that's gonna be timeless, reimagined from the past sounding great on your turntable. So 500 pressed, they've already sold probably about 200 plus. I would act accordingly. I would cancel any plans that you might have and, and I would add this, right? Because I don't. they don't repress. I haven't seen any solo records get repressed, so this is probably gonna go fast. And here's some other dope stuff. So I'm always kind of analyzing and assessing things and coming up with these crazy questions. For those that don't know, the previous two releases from Sola, they came in a dark kind of label. I wanna say it was black. It had the standard artwork on there. Um, and then for this release, this was the first time that Solo went color. And they went from kind of the, the black, darker album cover backgrounds to what you see here. So I think this is very telling. Um, you know, this is the third Solo release that I have. And to me, this says a lot about the future being bright and that there's a lot of good stuff to come. And really, um, you know, that, that sunburst orange shining on Jackie, she really shined on this record, and, and I'm a big fan. Let's go ahead and play. Like I said, um, Girls Have Feelings Just Like the Boys Do. That's, that's a Barbara Mason track. Uh, Jackie shines on this one. It does sound different than the original to me, and, and that, that's just something I noted. I kept going back and forth and, and listening to um, you know Barbara's version, Jackie's version. And for whatever reason, when I'm hearing these songs reimagined, with, with singers that I love, uh, the producers playing a part that I love, I think this sounds better, hands down, without a question. When it comes to um, Backburner, written by Jackie, this is where you hear that, that, that best version of Jackie that I'm talking about. You can hear it when she's singing. You know, you listen to the, the you know, records that, that were recorded earlier in the year, fantastic work, it's great. There's kind of a sparkle on this. Let's go ahead and put this on the turntable. We're gonna do back burner first. Quick peek, killer album artwork. Love the details on the back.
So, I mean, you can hear it in her voice, right? Like I said, just next level stuff. Um, the concept from what I'm getting, right? One song is back burner. It's about being put on the back burner, being tired of it. Uh, the flip side is, like I said, girls have feelings. So there is a concept here. I'd love to know, you know, where where Jackie came up with the inspiration for this. And we're going to talk about it later when we do the fireside chat at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, but but this is a very big 45 to me. I love that that side A1 and side A2 are, are kind of linked, right? These are feelings. These are emotions. These are things that everyone goes through but but this is jackie's version of it and i know that sola hand picked out the barbara mason record for jackie to to revision for us as i like to say it um and i think they picked an awesome song she sounds great on it we're gonna get to that let me drop this again so you can hear a little bit more of uh, back burner Slayed this track. Absolutely slayed it. Shout out to everybody that's uh, tuned in and watching. Sorry, I'm not always good about, you know, getting to the, the messages or the notes that you leave while I'm doing this. A lot of stuff floating around up here. Let's go ahead and play uh, side B. Now, here's what I thought about when I first heard this. And I got to kind of back up a little bit more. When it comes to listening, there's different ways that I listen to music. Sometimes I'll just put the record on and I won't, have, I won't read anything prior. I'll kind of let my mind do the thinking and kind of imagining things. And then I might go and read. Sometimes I do it at the same time. Other times reverse. This time I just listened. And initially what I heard at first was a, a black exploitation type of sound. Um, that, 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 that black soul vibe that I know so well from the black exploitation soundtracks. A big fan of as well as the movies. Um, but, but it's not that. It's, it's very different. It's still that, that soul that we love. That sweet soul. Um, and, and this is another big record. What I thought about, I think on both sides, but specifically this one, I could see our, our DJ friends, our, our crate diggers, those that, that like to sample records, completely sampling this. Um, that's just the, the crate digger in me, the sample junkie. When I hear it, I know it. Um, so I think this record's for a lot of people. It's not just those that love soul music. You've got to be able to diversify the collection. Like I said, it's fine to fall in love with one genre, but I believe in going wide and deep and, and again, diversifying my record. So I have a variety because those things send off signals in my head and I'm thinking, oh, I've heard this. Where is it from? Or wow, did they get the inspiration from this record that came out 10 years before? So lots of things going on up here. That's what I got from this. Let's go ahead and drop the needle. Killer intro, by the way. Shout out to Adrian. You nailed this one. Really, really nailed it. cider here's the vinyl solo records solo music group yahoo.com paypal friends and family thirty dollars five dollars shipping make it happen go to the account page to verify the details i'm like 95 percent sure i'm correct on the email address but i could be off so so double check that um very excited about this i'm tipping my hat to jackie to adrian I'm really excited to know what's next. We're back. It said it was paused. Okay. But I think it's time to celebrate this release, right? I am excited about new music, but 
I just want to celebrate this and I wanted to make sure I shared this with all my friends so that they have visibility. They know what the, the physical product is like in hand. You've heard uh, side A1, as I like to call it, and side A2, double A cider. I think we might have debuted side B for the first time where folks could hear that, um, revealing Barbara Mason. For the sample junkies out there, it was sampled by Talib Kweli um, on... on some album he didn't last like five to ten years. I don't know that it was notable. And mainly what, what he had sampled from the Barber track was like the, the hook. Um, but that's just for reference points right there. Um, I'm excited for the Fireside Chat at 4 o'clock today, Pacific Standard Time. We're going to get to kind of really dive into this record and learn about the inspiration. You know, how Jackie connected with Sola you know, what was Adrian's angle on the song and just knowing about, you know, what that experience was like with Sola. My whole, you know, mission in, in doing a lot of this stuff is to make sure that, that we're repositioning the, the sun and shining it on the stars that we love so much and telling the stories that we can't find anywhere else through this type of, of offering, which is kind of the live stream fireside chats that we run with two gents and a turntable. Um, so if you can tune into that, the the stream will be available afterwards if you miss it and and my ask is always that you share the music not so much for wax villain but you do it for jackie you do it for adrian you do it for solo records because the story needs to be told and um you know i'm just i'm pushing hard to ensure recognition that that these stories are told that people know who the musicians are and they're able to again to champion and celebrate great music wax villain Seattle, Washington, What's in My Mailbox, The Unboxing, Solo Records Edition, Jackie Mendez, Backburner 45, production with Adrian Carmine, one of my favorites. I'm out, y'all. Thank you.